What's up guys? Hola. Benvindo al cinema gringo. OG we have, OG we have. Today we have a video, <laughs> another Brazilian movie to watch. Yes! So last time we watched City of God. Okay, phenomenal movie. Yeah, so if you guys haven't watched that video, I'll leave a card right here so you guys can go check that out. Do it. Another video we just made was about the names of movies. That's right. Between Brazil and the US. Mm -hmm. So in English, this movie is called The Dog's Will. The Dog's Will? The Dog's Will. Okay. In Brazil, the direct translation for the title of the movie is The Compassion Itself. The compassion, that's a big difference. Yeah, and I haven't seen this one, this movie yet, so oh. it'll be the first time for me as well. And this is what genre? This is a comedy, so this should be mm. a little bit less intense than City of God. Okay. It'll be good to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited because humor is way different than like what we saw. Before. Right, yeah. right. And we, you've already seen so much humor from Brazilian culture. Porta in, dos fundos. Porta dos fundos, <laughs> like in, in other medias. Yeah, yeah. So like, I think it'll be exciting for you and for me to see what a Brazilian comedy movie is all yeah, about. Yeah, a movie, yeah. yeah. That's, that sounds great. Cool, all right, so we're gonna watch the movie. We'll take a break about halfway through and let you know our first impressions, and then we'll talk about what we thought about the movie at the end, so we'll see you guys in a minute. Adios. Gente, o vídeo vai voltar em um minuto, mas eu queria saber se você é uma das pessoas que sonham em entender esses vídeos que eu faço aqui no canal sem as legendas. Se você é uma das pessoas, eu tô aqui para falar sobre Italki, que é um serviço que te conecta com um professor ou um tutor nativo da língua que você está aprendendo. Para mim, o melhor jeito que eu consigo melhorar meu português é falando com um brasileiro. Para vocês, o melhor jeito que vocês podem melhorar seu inglês ou espanhol ou alemão ou chinês, qualquer língua que você está aprendendo, é para conversar com uma pessoa que fala essa língua como um nativo. Então, com a Itaki você pode falar, conversar, aprender sobre a cultura da pessoa que você está falando e ao mesmo tempo você fica melhorando seu nível de inglês ou espanhol qualquer língua. É mais barato do que comprando um plano numa escola na sua cidade. É mais barato do que fazendo aulas particulares nessas escolas. E se vocês usam o link que eu vou deixar embaixo desse vídeo, vocês vão ganhar 10 dólares para usar no site. Então, se vocês sonham em entender esses vídeos sem as legendas, eu diria que vocês devem conhecer esse serviço. E agora, vamos voltar para o vídeo. Alright, so we're about 40 minutes into the movie, and what are you thinking so far? Um... It's good. We get why it's called the dog's will. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that w the dog's will was like the dog's... Uh, how would I describe that? Like the dog's... Like the way the dog acts. In, in like his, his will to do something. His intention to do something. I don't know if that... Now we find out that he... The dog actually wrote... A will. will, yeah, and that's what the movie is. Well, based and off then of. and then the actual translation you said the compassion itself. Uh huh. So like I had no idea, <laughs> and so for it to actually just be a dog's like will <laughs> is so funny. Yeah, I feel like the meaning in Portuguese I'm still not quite sure about, yeah. but. In English, it's definitely more literal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other thing, so this reminds me a lot of Monty Python, the Monty Python movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In just the way that it's shot and the way that the, the comedy, the, there's a lot of like facial expressions and slapstick humor. Yeah, little sounds, just yeah. little noises, yeah. Yeah. Shot really simply, but this, it all comes together. Right. And... Cool, so we have a little bit left to go in the movie. We will finish the movie and then we'll tell you guys what we think after, so. We'll see you guys in a few. Ciao. Okay. Bravo, bravo, bravo. That was good, I liked it. It was, I did, I really liked it too. Uh, one of the other things that I liked were the nicknames in the movie. You had Cricket. For some reason it translated to Jack in English, but his name was Joao. Joao? Joao the Cricket. Jo Joao the Cricket. Yeah. My uh, favorite character. Yeah, he was, he was. And do you, you remember him from City of God? He was, uh, I forget his nickname in City of God. I think it was like Carrot or something. The guy who, he was like one of the drug bosses. Yeah. I forget, I forget We're gonna find it and it you're gonna, you're gonna show, yes, yeah, I yeah. know, but I 
I remember now the face just like popped in from yeah. that. Yeah, totally. And then there, you had Chico. <laughs> yeah, Chico. So I love how they just put like nicknames for almost everybody. Because it's interesting with the translation, just like you said, Joao, if they were actually their names or not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the translations were tough, especially because this movie used a lot of Giridias, like a lot of slang from yeah. the northeast of Brazil. But yes, yeah, so another thing was they had the translation for bitch. <laughs> for cachorrinha, which is like female dog. I, I figured, I figured it was female dog, but it was just funny because you just keep they everything was about bitch. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time they said cachorrinha when they were talking about the dog, they translated us as bitch. <laughs> uh, I, a couple other things that I love, Chico. He had a couple like introspective moments about like life and death and one of them was in the church at the beginning and one of them was in the church at the end. He was talking about like it's like our eternal destiny to, to die. So I thought it was funny in the middle of this comedy movie there were these moments of realization and like these more profound moments. Yeah and I, not only throughout the movie it's like it's there was some truth behind everything that was going on. Especially like at the end too, it got really deep and they were like talking about, I don't like repentance and like all these other things. And yeah. it, it was like funny how they put it together, but it was still some truth behind it. Yeah, and do you remember in the last, the when we watched City of God, I mentioned that almost every Brazilian movie I've seen has some sort of, like it, it comes at social issues or it like has some deeper meaning to it. Yeah, yeah. Even in a comedy, it had the parts about, like you were talking about repentance and it, you know, gave excuses to the bad guy because he witnessed, you know, his family get murdered when he was a little kid. Uh, yeah, Therefore, yeah, yeah. he was saved. Yeah, yeah. And then Cricket, Cricket, they showed of his childhood, like, working in, like, a tough farm or, like, country town or something. They yeah. had, like, real pictures of people mm -hmm. from that. And it was, like, I got a little, like, oh. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And when Mother Teresa was talking about how, how men are, you know, they're so afraid of death, so they do these crazy things and these stupid things because death is always on her mind. Yeah, and anything. everything is based out of fear. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It didn't feel unnatural in the context of the movie, the way that I thought they presented it really well, yeah. but I wasn't expecting it. No, not at all. Like it got, it got pretty serious. It got real there at, the at the end. end. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, even you were talking about real moments of truth. So when they talked about the little dog dying uh -huh. at the very beginning, like right after. They were like, okay, this dog is, represents like the struggle that we all face. And then they looked at like the Jesus reenactments. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like dog dying to like Jesus Christ. Yeah. And like, so it was like funny, but serious. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Yeah, I had no idea too that it would be so, like they, they talked about half of the movie was based on religion. And yeah. you know, di either dying or how the priests are and their, you know, influence in the city and that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Obviously at the end with having like God and the devil and all that. So I think it just goes to show like religion is super important. Yeah. You just know that religion is tied into like Brazilian culture. Yeah. Really deeply. Right, right. The mistress, or not the mistress, the baker's wife. Uh-huh. We looked at each other all the time through it. Cause every single time, even with like the devil. <laughs> yeah, she was like, like Ooh. Ooh, hey, what's up? I love the powerful man. <laughs> or I love a brave man. That yeah, was her old thing. A brave, a brave man. man. And just that scene where it went from Chico to the strong guy. Yeah, oh my god. I think that was my favorite scene of the movie was just the rotation of, and then she got out of it though. She she figured out like she figured out a way to get out of the situation. That was another thing that I loved about the movie, just like the the ability of the characters to kinda like in, in Portuguese or in Brazil they have a word like esperto, like like an expert, somebody who's always like scheming to yeah, get out yeah, of yeah. situations. Uh, yeah, I felt like that was throughout the whole thing. Like there yeah. was they'd always weave their way out and it'd end up working uh -huh. somehow. <laughs> Even when uh, Cricket was trying to get avoid going to hell, he like had a plan in his head. <laughs> yeah. And when he got out of him getting uh, murdered with the harmonica and, and the fake uh, blood yeah. like that. He was a smart guy. He was. Everything happened in the movie because of Cricket. Like, yeah. He's the most. <laughs> like he was always scheming yeah. to do different things. Yeah. But yeah, that scene with the baker's wife was just... <laughs> <laughs> the dress comes down and she does the little <laughs> <Yeah>. wiggle. <laughs> 
so good. Yeah. My favorite scene, I think, because obviously, you know, I like to dance and stuff, yeah. was the harmonica, the blessed harmonica, mm -hmm. when he's like dead on the ground. It's like, a, it was like a music video, because it starts with like his hands. Yeah, his hands start going, hands, and, and then, then his feet. Like, the feet, and then they're all just like, ah. <laughs> And he thought of that plan so quickly, too. It was like, okay, how do I get out of this? Oh, I got a perfect idea. And like, to flip it and to have the guy shoot the boss. Like, it was, it yeah, was so good. It, it was. was. so good. Um, yeah, and it was cool also to learn about even this not being, like, a, a exact representation of what the northeast of Brazil was like during this time period, it still kind of gives you a look into what it was like in a smaller town, like the relationships between the people mm -hmm. and, and everything. How much influence yeah. and power money can have. Yeah, too. that was, money was like a big thing. It was a central throughout. theme. Throughout. Yeah. And then at the end, because they had to give the money back. So like mm -hmm. after the whole movie pretty much being about money here or there, at the very end, money is a... The it most comes back around thing, to you money. Know? Yeah. But they and they end up walking off and they're like, oh well we don't have money. Mm -hmm. But they learn a lesson too yeah. at the end because they're you know, the three of them are Chico, John, and the daughter. Yeah. Are together poor. Yeah, exactly. And, then, and we yeah. just need each other, dude. Yeah, we that's just all, need that's each all the world needs. <laughs> But yeah, I really liked it. I'm glad we got a different look at some Brazilian mm -hmm. cinema comedy movie. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, when, when was this made? Uh, it came out in 2000. In 2000, okay. Yeah. So is this, we, we mentioned it earlier, like, uh, what's the American version movie? Monty uh, Python. A British version. British Monty Python. American, I would say, would be like Princess Bride. <laughs> okay, yeah, or Princess yeah. Bride. So, like those movies, so in Brazil, does everyone like know the jokes and like everyone talks about it or like uh, is it like that i or? don't know but when we did the last video watching city of god this was the most recommended movie for okay. us to watch next so i'm, I'm assuming that it's pretty famous okay. and pretty well known okay cool yeah. i'm interested to know like from us we had scenes that like we noticed but mm -hmm. i'm curious to know what we're like Brazilians' favorite scenes in that movie. What were like the memes that Yeah, came out exactly, of the movie. exactly, yeah. exactly. Então, gente, espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo. Eu acho que para o próximo vídeo do cinema gringo, nós vamos assistir Trupa de Elite. Então, fica ligado aqui no canal para aquele vídeo também. Gerard, thanks again. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the movie. I loved it. So much fun. <laughs> tchau, tchau, gente. Tchau.